guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio Buck Show. And today is a topic. It's a topic. We've gone over so many things already, guys. Now it's time to get into the basis, the grind, the needy greedy of just about everything out there. You know what I'm saying? So today is about relationship gambiting. Guys, I don't know if you are aware of uh, different types of gambits that you could use rather than asking a direct question. Now, I'm all for direct questions, but you don't want to seem too pushy. Now, I'm going to give you a situation that had happened a long time ago, okay? So there was this girl that I was interested in, and this girl, I wasn't sure. There was a huge delay until, you know, in terms of, there was a fallout. We weren't speaking to each other anymore. Uh, the communication had collapsed. And so I came back probably two, three months later. Right? So at the beginning, obviously, feelings were apparent. Now, I've told you guys that the reason why I ghost people so much or go- I used to ghost people so much is the fact that I know that the majority of women I like, they never like me back. Even some of, like, I remember liking one girl, I'm not going to name her, liking one girl in America, right? Now, if we talk about looks, here in Thailand, most women are extremely beautiful. They're anywhere between seven to nine. It depends what type of job and stuff like that. In America, they're normally below the average, okay? So they're around four. Unless you find someone very beautiful, then they're extremely stuck up. You see what I mean? But the girl I used to like in America, how she looks now, she's like a two and a half, No offense, but I'm just letting you know that, hey, I used to like her at some point. It wasn't so much about her looks, but it was about her personality and everything in general. But she didn't like me back. That's all there is to it. And so this is probably what had built up so much shame, self-shame and self-sabotage and me telling myself, nah, I'm going to avoid pain because I know you're going to say you don't like me. And, and then, of course, I'm going to have to deal with this for the X amount of days. Guys, I've been dealing with that since, what, seven, like 17 years. Now, after the transformation program, I'm like, okay, I'm a little bit more level, level-headed. I know what's going on. Let's see what happens. So, I had this situation that happened. Now, there was a fallout because of my feelings got all in the way. I came back around, started talking to her again, and messages were exchanged. Now, you got to figure out, again, you can ask somebody a direct question and whatnot. Luckily, I didn't send uh, a message at the time that was a very, very long message expressing just a wide range of feelings. Holy shit, that would have been a disaster. Uh, But I sent her another message, sent a bunch of voice messages, and I'm like, okay, let's see if she baits it. Because I'm going to throw different gambits out there. Hey, are you working out at home? Yeah, I work out at home now because I'm really busy. I'm like, oh, man, we should work out sometime. She didn't mention it. I'm like, hey, yeah, you live, oh, my God, you live real close to me. Yeah, I do, man. Yeah, we should go grab something to eat. She didn't mention it. These are very indirect gambits that anyone would probably say, yeah, absolutely, let's get something. Now, at the very beginning of the conversation, she was like, yeah, let's catch up when all of this is over, you know, or when, you know, or when you're free. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely, let's catch up. But it just seemed like at the time, there was no catching up. Nothing. And so that's why I'm just scratching my chin. And I was like, okay, I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to bait her big time. And so she's like, hey, you know what? I go to this gym and they were talking about gyms and all that stuff. And she said, you know what? You should go cycling because there are a lot of cute women in there. And I said, oh boy, bingo. That's a red flag. She's basically, and the way I'm interpreting the message is the fact that, hey, uh, yeah, I'm not really into you. Go over there. Yeah, there's some beautiful women over there. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, oh, boy, that's a red flag. And so I threw a very sharp gambit at her. Now, this gambit was me basically saying at that time, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I've been here in Thailand for six years already. I just don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here. You know, uh, and I'm thinking about going to Vietnam in a couple of months to just, you know, get rid of this visa. And, you know, just I want to move on and do something bigger. You know, because I told her there was no more opportunity and there's no more reason to be here. And so that is not only a gambit, but a massive slap in the face. If someone had or if she had feelings for me, she would have really taken that poorly. Like she would have taken that like, (gasps) oh. 
Like, God damn, that, that really hurts. You said there's no one here for you. What about me? Or she would say, damn, are you really planning on leaving? And she would put a smile, uh, you know, a sad emoji or something like that. Or maybe she wouldn't respond for a while. Or she would say, if she wanted to encourage me and to show signs that she no longer had feelings for me, she would have said, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, man, Vietnam is amazing. I've been there before. Best of luck out there. That means, boom, friend zone, let it go. Guys, these are different types of gambits that you can use. Again, I'm afraid that we do live in a world that, you know, things are very trivial. Things are very silly. I do like speaking directly, uh, you know, in relation to that. But at other times, sometimes these gambits are really, really good. Just to, you, you know, just like conversation gambits, which I've spoken about and will be speaking about continuously on my Business English podcast. Very, very good techniques that you can use, you know, to ask yourself or to, you know, to get someone to bait. So if you're at a business meeting or you're, you're no, you know, or you want to speak to someone and say, excuse me, da, 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 it's very easy out here in Thailand. If I try using a gambit out there in America, women would look at me like, oh, 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 oh. you know what I mean? Like the ego is unbelievable. And plus, we just don't have much in common. So we'll just leave it at that. Uh, but do you guys get what I'm saying? Gambits in general, they're very, very good. You could be very direct and say, hey, you know what? I like you. Do you like me? No. Okay. We'll just do it that way. You know, that's how the older generations would do it. If you don't want to be too pushy like me, I threw a gambit out there. She didn't bait. Threw another gambit. Didn't bait. Threw another gambit. Didn't bait. And now I'm just sitting in, And now I threw one of the biggest gambits where she should at least nibble on just to give me or like at the time to give me an indicator So, in saying that, guys, that's a little technique that you can use. Different gambits for different people. Again, if you guys want, like, conversation gambits and stuff like that in general, Business English Podcast is not so much about English in general, but so much about just a variety of different things. But, hey, you know what? If you're interested, you got that over there. It's a premium podcast service. Uh, If not, man, guys, I'm going to be throwing out so many more of these. But that's just to figure out. If someone likes you, you can use gambits if you don't want to be too direct. I'm your host, as always, over and out.